I'm Mary. And I'm Armando. And today we're going to be talking about strings. Wait, not those strings. <laughs> so what really is a string? So it's basically a string is like a phrase or numbers or literally any sort of expression that's just within quotation marks. So anything inside the quotation marks is considered a string. Mm -hmm. So the way that we'll declare a string is to say let chef name colon string semicolon. And here we're saying we're going to have a variable called chef name that is going to be a string. So we're going to initialize chef name since we've already declared the variable. So here we'll do it by saying chef name equals Guy Fieri. So in case we want to do this on the same line, we would do something like let flavor equals salty. But let's say we don't want it to be salty anymore. So here we'll have flavor equal to town. So here we're going to take a little bit of a break and say that there's, explain what the difference is between a variable and a string. So we can have this variable called flavor, and anytime we reference flavor without any quotation marks, it's going to be equal to town right now because we've reassigned it to town. But if we put quotes around the word flavor, then it's going to be referencing the word flavor, no longer referencing the town string. So now we're going to talk about a, thing, a cool thing that we can do with strings called concatenation. So the first thing we're going to do is concatenate two strings together. So for example, for two different strings, we could use pork in quotations plus chops, also in quotations, equals pork chops. We can also combine these uh, variables and strings. So like our example from earlier of flavor, we can do flavor in quotes plus flavor our variable is going to equal flavor town because our variable flavor holds the word town. Here we also see that the order we put the strings in matters. So if we did town plus flavor, it would be town flavor 